Hi guys, I'm back again today with another video and we have another like interview type thing with Basim on value attainment channel. Um, so yeah, before we start, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell button and let's see what this is about. I'll try to calm down. I actually think you're a smart guy. I actually think you know your stuff. You're just so fixated that Israel's the problem. The problem in the Middle East, like I said, follow the money. The countries that are succeeding, the Qataris, even the Saudis these days, they're coming into the modern world. They're leaving the, the sixth century mentality behind and say, let's get into the 21st century. Where, where they need to succeed, in, whether it's Gaza or whether it's Lebanon or whether it's Syria and whether Afghanistan, they need to focus on GDP, not GDT. Gross domestic product, not gross domestic terrorism. And the problem is they're obsessed. Put the guns down. Put the Quran down. Actually start living by the words that the Quran says, not some false uh, equivalent of what they think is actually going on there. You talk about the genocide in Israel or in Gaza as if it's just a matter of fact. Well, let me, let, me, let me show some stats for you because after you see these stats, Israel's the worst genociders ever. The numbers, the, according to the world data, if you trust data, between 1990 and 2022, the Palestinian population overall went from 2 million to 5 million, okay? Pretty bad at genocide if that's what's happening right there. In Gaza, it went from 645,000 to 2.1 million. It's 3X. That ain't genocide to me. Now, do 20,000 people, 30,000 people needlessly killed during this bullshit war that was started by Hamas? Is that horrible? One million percent. And any Jew or any Israeli... Give me that number said, again. 600,000 to what? 645,000 to 2.1 million. From what to, from one, from one to where? This is in 1990 to 2022. Do you know Pull why they increased? Because they're having babies like crazy. No. You see, this is how, in, how, how like, when you watch that, mm -hmm. uh, while being uninformed makes, me look, it makes you look very stupid. Tell me why. Tell, me how, the, tell me how the, the population has the gone from 2 million to 5 million. Yeah, because most of the 1.5 extra million didn't come from Gaza. They were pushed away from other parts of Israel. So most of these people, they have increased because of refugees no, being kicked out. If you're talking about the settlers, those are tens of thousands. Stop I'm talking it. about Those Gaza. aren't millions of people dude, 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 listen, moving houses. My wife's their house. family is not from Gaza, and yet they found themselves in Gaza because they were sitting in other uh, other cities and villages outside Gaza. This is the systemic pushing of people from other parts of Israel, yeah. pushing them that's to Gaza. That's not millions of people. This is why I said that you're intellectually million. dishonest. No, you're intellectually no. lazy. No. That's not the cause of millions of people I'm, being I'm, moved. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm familiar with the settler no, stuff no, this and is, the disengagement you don't know in 2006. It, you don't know what you're talking about. It's, no, These are people that Millions of people? What? Okay. The people who belong to Gaza are 700,000 people. Right now, Gaza is 2.2 million. That is not birth rate, my friend. Mm -hmm. These are people pushed from... And by the way, that's not the first time. 1948, uh, at the night of the declaration of the State of Israel, 1.5 million, 1.5 million Palestinians were like moved overnight so it's not the first okay. thing so before you tell giving me numbers to you want to appear sure. smart know what are behind the numbers because these are not people that give in babies okay these are be people being pushed from other places in order to be part of the open air prison that it is okay so then, so, it then, is not, then, it's, so it's not then if it's you want to fact check me let me fact check you mm. anytime that there's numbers increasing basif going from 650 450 whatever you want to call it to 2 million however it happens that's the exact opposite of a genocide. So the whole genocide, the whole open air prison it's are with my talking friend. points. This place talking points of BS. No, and this is why I said you were intellectually lazy no, no, or you just hate ba Israel. Basically you dis you dis this whole thing about you hate Israel and hate Islam, this is a very lazy way to talk to people. It's kinda you know, like it's, your it, kinda like your thing. What what did I tell you? Uh, What do you mean it's the opposite of genocide? Yes, because there's increase in a number, but it doesn't mean like it's impossible to have numbers because you can fake numbers, to be honest. Um, like I can just put like, oh, there's 20 people in this house when in fact there's like, what, oh, 10 people? I, I can I can lie about statistics, right? Um, 
it's not like they go counting people individually and jotting it down oh okay 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 no you can just state it even even if we don't know where they're coming from let's say we don't know that they're coming from other places you can just fake numbers is so lazy. What did I tell you? Like you're fucking racist. Because I'm. You've already said that. Multiple no, times. I didn't say. Yeah, I you said, did, I you said, said that multiple times. I said, times. said your undertone is racist. No, okay. there's no one. So not not me, two, but what's no, going on and, inside and, of and me? Someone, That's good. And someone and some like the, you. The way that you analyze numbers is very lazy. Because again, really, these, when I actually use stats and data from, let from me hear the most credible sources, this is that lazy. These we'll are up. numbers that were outside you've of Gaza. You said no stats. You give a fucking opinion the whole time. It's like saying that California has increased triple or the size of uh, like te people in texas increased because of birth rate no they increased because people from california started moving voluntarily you have pushed 1.5 million people outside of gaza inside of gaza in a matter of 12 years and that's why the number has inflated mm -hmm. it's not because they were giving birth rate so then, they where, were, then they were where's pushed, the genocide they were, they were evacuated where's this alleged genocide happening? that's happening right now under okay. your eyes so as of as of three months ago there was no genocide it's, so it's just a new well thing. we didn't actually use the word genocide before three months ago okay but you've we been calling for it. the river for the we sea didn't use it for decades so well, well. Also, also, Israel have a lot of maps that is uh, putting in the greater Israel from the Nile and the Euphrates. That's that genocide for five countries there. And this is not by people in the street or people on YouTube. These are ministers. These are officials in the official government of Netanyahu. If you have someone, a, a, an, an Arab president, like the Egyptian president or the Jordanian king, tell you from the river and the sea, it's like, oh, it's the Arab authorities. You are basically complaining people on Facebook and the official. F uh, viewpoint of the Israeli government. You're basically comparing apples to oranges. It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. You're basically comparing activists with people with power, with money, and with weapons. So I don't know how come you're comparing. So them. what's your solution? Because you got all these answers and we have no solutions. What's your solution? Justice. Stop okay. killing people and okay. and give them back their land. That's it. Okay. And, and, and giving them back the land, that is going to be a much more complicated thing. Who's going to lead your negotiations? Mahmoud Abbas, 88 years old? I have no idea, man. No, no, I have no idea. Yeah, that's the I point, is no you idea. don't have an idea. Well, I'm, 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 when I say I have no idea, I'm being humble, because there's a million people who can do it, but like I'm not a politician, I'm a comedian. People saying they don't have an idea doesn't mean you can continue committing genocide. Like, I don't have an idea how to make a phone, but it doesn't mean like... I should start destroying all the phones. I was like, oh, this phone sucks. I will destroy it uh, so that they will create better phones. But it doesn't mean I know how to create a better phone. No. <laughs> Here to tell some of my opinions. But the thing is, you want to put me mm -hmm. and, and then you use that and you give me, I'm sorry to say, butchered political information and numbers yeah, that doesn't stats say anything. Stats are really butchered in political yeah, information. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's interesting how you have all the solutions for Israel, but you have no solutions for Gaza or Hamas. Very interesting. Very opinion. interesting how you can critique everything that's going on in Israel. Yes, they do have some things they need to rectify. Just like the United States, just like any democracy. You've got all the answers there, boss. If, when I said, what do they do over here in Gaza? What do they do? I have no idea. I'm just a comedian. Don't listen to me. So which one is it? You either know your shit or you're actually... Just... So what was your question? What's the solution so for what's Israel? So what's the solution for Gaza? Back the land. For Gaza, how yeah. about you stop the killing and then we can Okay, talk. so let's say we do that. Okay. So I, I, here's what I believe. I, need, I think we need to demilita demilitarize Gaza. We need to de-radicalize because they're the leading. How are you going to de-radicalize? De how do you do well, that? Well, maybe let's stop. So how about let's stop summer schools where they teach about oh, jihad how, how, and they start playing football okay, and soccer. How, how about the religious schools okay. in Israel that actually tell people that we should kill all Arabs? And these well, videos you, are you know all those idea. Jews that are running around bombing everywhere around the yeah. world? No, it doesn't fucking exist. Oh, it's really? only in Islam. Oh, really? But what about the Jews killing the Palestinians inside? I'm talking about the around the world. If oh, I said there was we're, a, we're bad people. Oh, we're bad people. No, Take us out. That's not what I'm saying. No, no, no. We're very okay. What I'm saying. We are they a need terrorist to, they... religion. We are a terrorist religion. Take it out. You said it. Your Let's words. Let's do it. You yeah. said it. Let's your do words. It. Yeah. Your words. Let's do it. I mean, like your this words. Is, oh, this is like you have, a, you have a though. really interesting. He's like, oh, there's no Jew doing terrorist things. That doesn't exist. It's fake news. But oh, are you saying we should take out all Muslims because they're terrorists? Oh, you are saying it. I'm not saying it. He's not refuting that. He's accepting it. But then when it comes to the other way around, there seems to be like, oh, no, that doesn't. It doesn't happen. It happens in every sect. 
racially, politically, religiously, it happens. I said I'll be chill today, so I'm going to try. Look for people who look like me. You look at me and I'm Muslim and you you have all of these assumptions about me being a terrorist. While Islam not is not a terrorist. You, you know said the word you know pacifist. I didn't say the word. You know words. what's the difference between you Islam said the and words. terrorists? They go on, on like some rogue groups and they kill and they do shitty stuff. But you have like a whole country with a whole military arsenal who is committing terrorism every single day back to there by it the is. US. there's your israel talk yeah, yeah, yeah. Israel i'm gonna talk it I'm th that's my that's, opinion that's my opinion totally that's cool my opinion totally cool yeah. it's all good but you're trying to tell me that islam doesn't have a terrorist problem islam muslims have a terrorist problem correct it's like when you say islam has a muslim problem when you say judaism has a muslim problem all right a lot of muslims are assholes and so, they do horrible stuff and the, i i do not feel the need to defend those people because those people don't represent me the thing is if people jews lose, were running thing, around all over the world blowing themselves up as suicide bombers as a jew i'd be like guys what the fuck are we doing here what are we doing here? Okay. This is accomplishing nothing. So let's but here's the, the, so let's but here's the, the reality. Let's Jews the aren't doing that. And Christians Jews are aren't not. doing that. Jews are not. Let me ask you a They're question. They're not doing that Let in Gaza. They're not doing that in the West Bank. Everything you talk about is Gaza. I'm talking yeah, about the world. Yeah, because that's what's happening You're right so now. obsessed with this one topic. I am. I'm trying because to understand my family the world. Lives there. Because okay. it's my, the my problem. Family lives there. My family's in Israel. Really? So only your family counts? My family doesn't count? No, no, no. Okay, but like, did your family are living in an open-air prison and being killed every day? The open-air prison, the genocide. Get them new talking points. Get them new talking points. Open it's air the prison. only talking point. Israel left it's Gaza in 2006. It didn't leave. It okay. left and it put it under blockade. It's called a disengagement. It, they, no, why nothing. do they have a blockade? Maybe because they're shooting missiles hundreds of times a day. Yeah, I'd pretty much put a yeah. country in a blockade you, you, if they were cut, shooting you, missiles you cut, you cut every single day. If Gaza is d d blowing missile, uh, missiles to Israel, wouldn't they wouldn't ha like wouldn't they have complained this already to be like united nations or their friend america wouldn't they be like hey or wouldn't they inform the world and be like yo we are being attacked right now by these people like can we solve this can we figure it out can we move somewhere maybe or can we like like deal with them how are we going to solve this problem world because right but now that all this is happening we are complaining about something that they supposedly did why didn't the supposed actions we never heard about it uh you never complained about it right it's basically like when a child hit another child right and they're like oh he hit me and then the other child is like i hit him because he keeps hitting me but then the other child never complained to the parents right but when that child complained to the parents that's when the other child was like no i hit him because he always hit me it's like every day he hits me and i never said anything why didn't you say anything who are we like what is and see, come from the water and say, like, okay, go live. How do Let, you do that? Let's move on from Israel because I know you're hyper obsessed with it. Why? I'm not hyper so obsessed. You keep asking me about Israel. No, I ask you about the world and I'm asking you about Christianity and Muslims and Judaism. You want to focus on Israel. Um, this is bullshit. You know why? Because they're going to make this about religion again. And obviously, when we divert the the topic to that aspect then obviously the people listening the people watching are going to they already have that connotation in their head already so it's gonna seem like this guy is speaking facts just because of the doctrination of muslims being terrorists so that's basically like there's no my head hurts um 
what I want people to understand is just because you are, like, for example, just because I'm black doesn't mean, like, all black people are good people. Right? Just because I'm, like, a certain race, religion, or whatever, it doesn't mean, like, I should be supportive of the wrongdoings. I should stand by evil just because I'm part of the evil, right? Like, you can be a Jew and then be like, nah, what these people are doing is not right. Like, if you have common sense, you would know. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I stand with my people even if we know that my people are doing the wrong thing. No. You have common sense. You are an adult. And based on what the evidence that we have and the facts and history that we have, you can put two and two together and say, yeah, my people are doing atrocious things. We should stop it. That is the right thing to do. Instead of like, no, we do no wrong. We are the best. We are the evil. Yes, my family also is in here and they are perfectly fine. They don't have to fear their lives. They can use the internet and post all this. They have food. They are sheltered. But then the other side... Why are they trying to bomb the other side? But then there's no evidence. Okay, I'm getting crazy again. Why can Muslims move to any Christian country they want? But Christians and Jews can move to zero Muslim countries. Why is that? Who said what so? What about Dubai? What about I'll Saudi ask it Arabia? again. What about all of these countries? What, what are you talking you, about? You mean the You're just mentioning Qatar and Dubai and all of there's like a lot of expats living you, there. So the middle, th this is my point, and I'm glad you're catching on. Yeah. That I'm not racist. I'm, I'm pointing out. Well, there are Christian countries who like, like shit. I wouldn't lose no, that I, because of the economy. I'm pointing out that in certain Muslim countries, they're getting it right. Or at okay. least attempting to. Good for them. Okay? Yeah. Yes, good for them. Mm -hmm. Good for Qatar. Good for UAE. Good for Saudi and what MBS is doing. Good for them. They're examples of what could be done. Gaza, if they took the billions of government of, of international aid, could be Dubai. But they decided to make a terror state. So the question that I'm where, asking where does, is... What, what, you, are you saying that like, there's so many money coming in and just like Hamas used it in order to make weapons? There's people of Hamas who are literal billionaires living in Qatar, flying around on private yeah, yeah. jets. They're, they're, How do you explain they're that? They're horrible people and I don't condone them. All right. Okay. I'm talking about the millions of people in Gaza. Who but, yeah, oh, horrible them. people, Hamas. Let's not talk, talk about that. We'll move on. But Israel. Oh, let's let me let me let me, let me give you a Gaza. dissertation Dude, over here. Okay, if so, okay. If there is a T word group in a certain area, it doesn't mean the whole entire country is a T word. Like there is T people in this country, but it doesn't mean the whole Philippines is a T country. That's his point. That's his claim right there. Like, why isn't the T word using their fonts for something better? Because they are the T word. Why would they use it for something better? They are the T word. That's like, they, they have their own agenda. It doesn't mean like we are close to those people and we have to like, I don't even have information for, from those people. How should I know what they're doing? Like, it doesn't mean because we live in one roof that we are, like, not one roof, like, one country that we are close. And it's not all of us are part of that T group. So, leave us out of it, okay? We have innocent people. Not that this child who was born today knows anything going on. Excuse us, you 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 but, have. But you, you I'm have, trying to give you. You're some, just like shouting over me. I'm just not because yeah, every time I'm okay, talking, you, you are basically you talk. going around all of the stuff that's happening with Muslim uh, people that is bad, and then you uh, base what you're doing is you are undertoning. You are trying to find an excuse to keep that killing in Gaza continue I, because because Muslims are bad. Exactly. Muslims are terrorists. Muslims are poor. So let's just like kill those people in Gaza. You are if okay. I feel like. We should remove uh, that connotation and actually have a sensible 
debate or talk. Like remove that, okay? Remove that ideology and that brainwash of this certain group is a T word. And then this certain group is not a T word. We should remove that. Every, let's just say everyone is innocent, okay? Everybody's good people. This group is good. This group is good. And let's talk about ooh, ooh, what the actual F is happening. And then probably we can find a solution. Because if we're talking, okay, if we come to a discussion, having our preconceived you know, ideas about something, about uh, a solution, about a topic... Nobody is going to change your mind. You're not going to see it any other way, okay? If you are colorblind and somebody tells you this is uh, red, you cannot see it. You're going to argue, no, that's not red. So we have to erase, okay? We have to, like, solve that problem of colorblindness. I'm using colorblindness as an example. But we have to erase the, 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 the mentality that we've already set into the world so that we can go into this argument or this debate or this talk with an open perspective, okay? Open perspective to hear both sides. And then your human senses will then say, oh, yeah, killing of innocent people is wrong, Okay, I mean, even even if you have that mindset of this certain group being bad, if you think about it, if you're a regular thinking human being, if you have brains that actually work right, if you have like Iman or if you have like that, uh, like, you know, the human, if you have humanity internally within you, you will come to your own senses and be like, yo, this group of people are K-wording another group of people. Yes, they have some bad people there, but it doesn't mean like everyone is bad. We have children, we have, you know, um, old people, we have uh, some women and some men, of course. Okay, not every human being is bad. So, maybe we should stop this and figure out a way to, like, get the bad people out of there. Get the the, 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 the evil out of there. We cannot just, like, throw a kaboom and uh, extingu- extinguish and, and then just, like, get rid of the whole population. Because humanly... That is evil. Okay, if you are a normal human being and you have good in you, that is your mentality. But the fact that a lot of people, millions of people think that this is the right thing to do, I am scared. Because that just shows you that humans, like most human, the humans who believe that this is right, there's something Something wrong. Evil has taken over or psychologically they are... Something's off. Right? Or humanity is doomed. Because if they think that is right, humanity is doomed. It's about time. Like, if they are allowing this to happen, then we are doomed. We have no future. Like, the world is over, basically. That so intellectually lazy, it's com- it's comical because I'm not Let's even talking this. about you should, Gaza. You keep insulting me. We're, I'm, you we're keep insulting me because, gonna, because I'm trying to share like you are a you are a motherfucking racist. You know, like you, how would what you if I, if I said, said that's that? racist? I'm Everything saying that there's that you say about racist, the way that you speak about Muslims, that we are terrorists and we are horrible people. Basically, you're telling people that we deserve to die. To die. Basim, and Israel said, has everything to do in order to kill those people. That's, I've, so, anyways, if I said if, zero hope, of those words, hopefully, if you are putting all those. Words if in my, my mouth. If I my, said if zero my wife's of those cousin words. who's a doctor get killed yeah. tomorrow, I'm gonna. You don't. You don't have to say the word. You can just say it in a sentence. Like for example, um, dictionary. Okay, I don't want to say the word dictionary. A book that describes words. I can say it, and it, you will still know it's a dictionary. Like doll. I I don't have to put the words in your mouth. You said it in different ways. 
I'm like, excuse you, intellectual human being. You are actually dumb if you think, like, those arguments make sense, okay? Like, I do not understand these people wearing suits, having shows, podcast, media shows, and then they speak, and then it sounds like a two-year-old knows more than this man dressed up like can't they hear what they're saying like all these things that are coming out of their mouth is like stupid like it doesn't make the 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 mind-boggling thing for me is all this doesn't make sense but to them it does like are you that dumb to listen to what is coming out of your mouth and then you think it makes sense like people actually watch these people like before all this like people think these people were smart just because they're saying these big words and you're like dressed in fancy like suits and they're like in this beautiful setup and they have their american flags and whatnot they think that they're smart or they think that they're making sense you know sometimes we follow blindly just because of aesthetics but i'm so thankful that like sometimes uh, i'm not the smartest person in the entire world like i i'm not even close to smart right but if something doesn't make sense i do not follow blindly i question i'm always sus right so that's my problem i mean it's a good problem to have i'm always sus i'm always like One plus one is not three. But you are selling it so beautifully that people might believe one plus one is three. But to my small P brain, it doesn't make sense at all. You know what? I'll, 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 I'll just keep you there for a while. Let me do my research, okay? Let me listen to both sides of the party and let's see if i can be convinced that one plus one is one is three because right now something fishy is going on but i cannot believe a lot of people actually sit there and be like oh yes oh this is the best this is amazing they're so smart oh my god they're harvard grad i don't know where they graduate or whatever i have no background about these people this is just based on like whatever like people's mentality or assumptions of what i think is going on behind the scenes right like people who actually watch this show and think that they are smart yeah the next generation we effed they're effed your postcard. So if my actual cousin gets killed in Israel, they that's okay. Not, they will not because that's you okay. know what? They are safe because he's not living in an open air oh, prison. Oh, wh why are they safe? Maybe because they have the Israeli Defense Force, the yeah. Iron Dome that Good for stops you. For you. all the missiles. They don't have that. Yeah, but they don't have that. Maybe you should have built that instead of oh, tunnels. With what? With all with the billions what? of foreign aid what, that was what given. Billion, what billion foreign aid are you? These, these, How much money does Iran give? How much money does Qatar? All, give? Every How much does the international money community? Is actually trickled through Israel. You understand that Israel is actually holding Your argument holds no weight. Because you, all you're doing you, is defending you Hamas. Under, you have I'm zero not, I'm, argument. I'm the last one to defend Hamas, by the way. And I've actually said the terrorist group. And, I don't be, and I'm a big fan of Hamas. But I'm just giving you some facts. Every single money that goes into Gaza goes through Israel. As a matter of fact, Biden has a big problem with Netanyahu because he's withholding the tax money that paid by the Palestinian people to the Palestinian Authority. And Netanyahu is holding it back. You're Have saying, you heard about that? Yeah. Have you read about that? Just two days ago, if you're reading your stuff. But you don't. But the thing is, Netanyahu is holding back the tax money from the Palestinian in West Bank and he's not giving it to you're so Ahmed funny Abed. man you're so funny no you're, saying, you're, you're just saying so all ignorant. you're saying you're saying you're all ignorant. the money yeah. that's going to Hamas is coming through Israel sure filtered through sure. Israel sure all filtered the money. through Israel yeah, all the money from Iran going right through Israel sure that's how likely about, how, all how the money from Qatar the okay. in 2019 the Lakewood okay. party telling them that he is actually over overlooking that amount of money coming from Qatar and he is doing that in order to split the, the Palestinian Authority. Listen to I'm me. I'm familiar with how, this. How, I'm not disagreeing how, how with... About I, you, how about you not, you listen, educate yourself I'm about not, that. I'm not disagreeing that Netanyahu has done some fucked up oh, things. Oh, here it is. Okay? Here it is. Oh, my God. Here it is. 
Biden is in frustrating call told Bibi to solve Palestinian tax revenue issues. Yeah, because issue? Israel is withholding that's, the taxes. You understand every single money that's transaction. That's your argument right there? Every, no, that's <laughs> part of the argument. Every single money transaction, whether it's taxes, whether it's aids, yeah. it has to go through the Israeli government. So all the money that Iran is funding Hamas, you're saying that goes through Israel? Is that what you're saying? Through Qatar, through Israel. Okay. That's f so false. It's so flagrantly false. I, I want you to educate what? yourself more. Okay. I will. I'll go read up on this. But if you mean to tell me that Israel is... If it's going straight to Palestine, Palestine, do you think that the people will stay there, right? If they had a means, as uh, 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 like that's why I'm telling you, I'm talking about logic right now. Logic is not logicing for this stupid people. They're acting smart, but they are not thinking logically. They don't have. They lack logical sense right like i don't know what they're eating but their their brain is clogged somehow so you're telling me that if they had money right they're gonna stay of course his argument is it's going to the t people right the hamas people um but if palestine had money do you think that the people are gonna stay there and just be like oh yes come don't you think that they will flee to safety? Don't you think that people will try to save their children, their family, and they will, like, get out of there and try to go somewhere safe? That is, like, the normal mentality of human beings. It's like, yo, we are being attacked. We don't want to, you know, so let's leave. Okay, let's go to somewhere that we can be sheltered. Because we are being in here. But it's to a point that they can't even afford to. Or they can't, they're not even allowed to. I don't even know the whole thing behind that. Like they can't even leave. So do you, you're like, he's saying like, oh, they have a lot of. Funds, have a lot of money. If I have a lot of money, do you think that I wouldn't have electricity, food, water? Yes, okay, you might say, oh, I'm using it to create weapons and all that stuff. But as a human being, wouldn't I try to survive and then continue with my so called weapon creation? Like, how can I create weapons without my own survival, right? Like, I will try to eat, have water, and then so-called creating whatever it is. Like, don't their brains brain? Like, what what is here? A chip that has been, like, computerized to say stupidity? Because it's not braining right now. It's not braining their brains it's not computing one plus one is three for them for some reason they forgot that one plus one is two and now they are arguing one plus one is three like duh where is this up here people of the human race like have you deleted your humanity and just like updated your 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 yourself into like a computerized idiot <laughs> because like humanity is like thrown out the gutter and then you are talking shimenkos right now like you put all these books behind you but you're you did did you even read the cover of that book i know maybe oh it's all oh, it's just for display well do not display because you, you're just you're talking nonsense None sense is coming out of your mouth, okay? So before you talk, maybe think about what you're saying. That's what people don't do. They do not think. They just spit out this stupidity and they think, oh, I'm smart because I put high, uh, like, you know, very, very hard words in my sentences and I speak eloquently. So, yes, I'm smart. Okay, I, mean, I don't know why I went to the British one. No, you're not. You're just dumb.
accepting the money that Iran is sending to Hamas and says, yeah, we'll send it to you guys. But, but, Believe me, let, they're not doing it. By the way, it's 11.15. 11 it's 11.15. 11 We're going to wrap up. Here's what I will say. Um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to be very honest with both of you guys. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been listening to both of you guys, and I love this. I love this. Let me tell you why. The average American right now is sitting there. There's a group that agrees with you. There's a group that agrees with you. Regardless of what it is, a lot was said, and it was actually pretty educated discussion. For me, I'm normally not this quiet. I love the fact that I heard this conversation. I loved it. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And it wasn't to... educated. It was a dumb most of the time. Because whoever that guy is was pure idiotic. I'm so sorry. Like, yes, he has some facts on his paper, but his human skills, he has, like, one plus one. Like, he has, like, you know when you have, like, the answers, but you don't know why the answers are the answers? You just memorize a book, but you don't know why you're memorizing. Like, you don't even know what is behind what you memorize. It's just so dumb. Like, I cannot. This was, like, the most stupid thing ever. Like, I cannot fathom the fact that they are talking about something that doesn't logically make sense like it's you know what let me know your thoughts and i i really tried right like when it when i was starting this video i was like i'm not gonna talk so much maybe i'll just like pause it once or twice and but I can't. I can't help myself because I cannot stand it. The, the one thing I cannot stand is dumb people. Like, people who are dumb, I cannot stand. Like, people who act like they're smart, but then it's obvious that they're just so fake and dumb. They do not know what they're saying. Like, I don't care if you're a doctor, engineer, a astronaut, a pilot... But if you don't understand logically what you're saying and there's no sense to what you're saying, regardless of your educational background or your studies in life or all the statistics you have in front of you, you are dumb. But anyways, beautiful peeps, I'm going to shut up and I don't know. This maybe will continue. Let me know if you want me to check out the other segments of the podcast or are we done because my my brain is just tired of this idiot